Hey guys, this is Mr. Boynton and today we're going to talk about drawing the eye. Uh, the type of eye I'm going to teach you how to draw today is a simplified version of an eye. Uh, it's not a hyper-realistic eye, but it is an eye that anyone can draw and it's very simple. Alright, the first step is to make the upper lid of the eye and just put that in as kind of an arched line. Okay, next you're going to make the bottom lid line of the eye and you throw that in like that. See how the top overlaps the bottom. Now, this is kind of an almond shaped eye, but eyes are so different depending on the person. Look at your own eye in the mirror and study it and look at like your sibling's eyes or your parent's eyes or your guardian's eyes or maybe your sweetie pie's eyes. And check them out because eyes are so different. Everybody's eyes are a different shape and they're so beautiful. All right, next we're going to put in the colored part of the eye. Okay, this is the iris. And the iris dips down and barely swoops to the bottom and then goes back up underneath the upper lid of the eye. Now, if you don't get it right, you can go around again and again trying to get that circle as good as you can get. Okay, and you just move it in. All right, next we're gonna try to place the center of the eye as correctly as possible. Uh, this is the pupil of the eye. So I'm gonna make mine nice and big. The pupil size changes depending on the light level. See, I go around and around until I can get it where it looks just about right, okay? I like to leave a little circle of white as a reflection in the eye. And then I just kind of gradated in here. And I'll talk a little bit more about reflections in the eye and how you can do them different ways later on. Okay, now we're gonna land the iris of the eye. Uh, irises have a lot of lines in them. Some people have very prominent lines and their eyes look like diamonds. Uh, some people have very dark brown eyes and you can't see the lines at all. Eyes as brown as bark. All right, so next, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about where's the nose. I'm gonna say my nose is over here, so I'm gonna put a tear duct on this side and I just throw it in like that, a little line like that. And now I'm gonna start developing the eye and helping it look more 3D, because we're looking a little bit 3D right now, but we could do better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the little ledge of the eye on top. You'll, if you look in the mirror, you can see this little ledge. It's kind of an edge. Eyes are like lips. We're gonna put one on the bottom. Fine little ledge here like that. All right, and then we're gonna throw on the eyelid on the top. Remember this eyeball is back behind this and it's pretty big. So we're gonna loosely put that baby on there, okay? Now the bottom lid, we don't wanna go too far because we could have a big bag under our eye or it will look like uh, a wrinkle. So we're just gonna do a little bit of an indication of it to get it looking 3D. All right, so now we're ready for some shading. And we're gonna shade it pretty heavily. You guys see how I changed my grip on my pencil? And I'm gonna put a lot of shading up under the eye to make it look really round. It's a ball, eyeball. All right, my teacher back in the 80s was a lady named Fran Spooner and she was really big. She's like, gotta shade these eyes. Awesome. Gonna shade it like it's a sphere. Okay, now we're gonna go back in and kind of darken it up with the lead of our pencil. On that top, eyes have a lot of shadows. All right, cleaning it up. Okay, looking good. Now, some other things you can add to the eye. A little too much there. Uh, are uh, veins, but you don't really wanna do too many because it'll make you look like a zombie. So stay away from that if you can. In fact, on my eyes, when I'm drawing portraits and stuff, I don't even put them in at all. Uh, the next thing you can add is eyelashes. Uh, if you want your figure to look more masculine, add less eyelashes, but if you want it to look very feminine, add a lot of eyelashes. And I'll start on the outside edge and put them on here. We'll say that this is girl eye right here and I'll just put them on there. I like to put them pretty heavy. 
And when I do them, I like to put them really far out of here. It's like a salute to one of my favorite illustrators, Reggie Matsumoto. He's a Japanese artist. All right. Okay. So let's have a little quick discussion about shines and eyes and how you can do those differently. So this is Northern Renaissance artist Albert Durr, and he does eyes in a really interesting way. He has like a reflection from like a little pane of glass in there, and it's kind of a neat little thing that he does. So if you wanted to copy that or maybe do the reflections your own way, it's kind of puts your own little unique signature on your eyes. It's kind of a cool thing to do.